Welcome to the 8th Leica GSO7 Quick Start video. This video focuses on how to create a local or site coordinate system. Starting with an introduction to the Quick Grid app. First, let's make sure that the Leica sample job is active and then scroll the app carousel to find and select the Quick Grid app. This app provides a quick and easy way for us to create a local site grid using one of five methods. Entering and measuring a single point, doing the same for multiple points, defining the local coordinate for our RTK base position, measuring a line to orientate along, or by shifting an existing coordinate system. We will perform the most basic of these and make a coordinate system from a single point. With the single point method selected, we can press OK to start the quick grid process where we are guided through the required steps. First, we need to set the local coordinates that we want the coordinate system to be based around. We could enter these manually or pick a point that already exists in a job. Here, we'll use a point from working job and click into the point ID field to select our point. We can use the 3D viewer to help. We can zoom to extents to view all of our data and then tap on point 1001. This is the additional point that is not part of the house plot. We can then press OK to confirm the point selection and then OK again to continue. We then need to make sure that we are outside, receiving GNSS signals and in an area where we can do some survey work, ideally with some space to the north and east of us as this is where the house design will be located. If we are no longer receiving RTK corrections, we may need to reconnect to the RTK network using the RTK icon and the start stream button. Once we are in our desired location and our position is fixed, then we can level the pole, press measure and then store. With that point stored, our local quick grid coordinate system is created for us. We just need to give it a name and store it. Whenever we create a new quick grid coordinate system, it is automatically assigned to our active job. And to prove that, we can check that it is working, simply by scrolling the app carousel back to the start and selecting the measure app. Inside the measure app, we can see a plot of our data on the right hand side of the screen and proving that our coordinate system is working, we can see our current position as a GNSS antenna displayed within the area of our data. Furthermore, we can actually walk around and see that as we move, our position correctly updates live within the data. This shows that everything is correct and working, which means we can bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching.